Okay, my outstanding friends, this was on TikTok, and they are looking for an answer to what this is. And what, she's asking who, who can explain this. Now, what I've picked up from this, first of all, this is a very large outcrop. This is not small. This is trees in the background here. Hold on, let me show you what we're looking at. Those are trees, big trees in the background. This is a big chunk of rock. Now, the other thing I picked up on is it's near the water because I can hear the sound of the ocean it appears to me. Now, what else can we glean from this? You see all these things? They look like roots. They look like tree roots. They are not tree roots. Those are vessels, blood vessels. Now, let's look at this carefully. Now, she's going kind of fast, and I don't know the whole outlay of this whole area, but here's what's happening. You see these little capsules? Watch what happens. There's red blood, and then there's dark blood, and then there's some place where it's just black and red. Here we go. Okay, I need help. I need somebody who is smarter than me and knows about rocks to please explain to me what I am looking at. We are at Presque Isle Park in the UP. What are these giant circles where the rock has been formed around it? Is it another rock? Is it a bunch of meteors? Probably not. But what am I looking at? Please somebody help answer my question. Okay, the average person is going to look at this and they are not going to be able to explain this whatsoever. Okay, let's go through this again. We got red colored rocks. We got dark colored rocks, different colors. We got yellow colored rocks. We've got all of these tiny, tiny, tiny fibers. Tiny fibers. Now let's listen to what's going on here. And then there's some place where it's black and red. Here we go. Okay, I need help. I need somebody who is smart. All right. Pardon? Let's look at what we got here. We're seeing extreme amounts of fiber filaments unbelievable amounts coming down and going off this way coming down going off this way coming over this way surrounding these little vessels now we see extreme red here and we see extreme black here and what I also want you to notice is this is like a muddy slippery red that's not solid rock this is black turns solid and I'll explain to this in a minute. Here we go. You see the little chunka 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 chunka. This is this is all very very obvious to me because I understand it very well but I'm not going to tip you off just yet. Keep your eye on it and see what you think. Remember that that's just about as red and gooey muddy it's like mud and this is like hard black rocks look at the layers around that can you see those layers what the heck is going on there do you know have you figured it out yet let's go a little further you see these little black stuff going on there well let's see. what you see how they're all coming, coming and covering around all these little holes. I am looking at, we are at Presque Isle Park in the UP. What are these giant circles where the rock has... All right, you hear what she said, giant circles. You see these little different layers? All those different layers around this? How it's dark and then it turns into reddish looking been formed around it. Is it another rock? Is it a bunch of meteors? Probably not. But what 
and it you see, you're going to see some yellow here oh, yeah. and there, too. Please, somebody help. You see the yellow up in here? Again, sir. My Yellowish looking stuff. All, but all completely saturated with those little fibers. What the heck is going on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm not no sense in dragging this thing out forever. This is blood. It's blood. And that is from a lung. And this also is blood. And that is from a lung. And you say, well, why is that black and why is that red? Well, the reason is this is deoxygenated. This is coming in to pick up some of this oxygen and then go through all these little tiny bitty filaments and send it out into your body. This is a lung. She's looking at a lung here. And this is where the transpiration between the black and the red happens. And occasionally you see yellow in here too. Now, these are all the same, same, same shots I showed you before. Here's some yellow here. There's the, the red is going to, is, is filtering in, I believe, into the black. To, but th what happened here is normally these are going to be like similar to this. This is a lung. You're going to have a ton of these little holes. I mean billions of them, literally. And every one of them is wrapped up by all of this little fi filament stuff. And it wants to pull in oxygen into the black blood, into the blood, into the black part of the blood. So you normally you're going to have holes, primarily. The blood is filtering through here. A lot of blood moving through here. But it's moving through in a way I don't fully understand. But the, the end result is that the red is, um, pushes into the black. All right, the black has to, is the blood is the vein blood now. The black is vein, blood is black, and the body is blue. But that's going to come back out holding up all this oxygen. And the oxygen is being pumped in here when you breathe. And this is what they look like anatomically. You breathe in here, you inhale in here. <gasps> And it comes in through the, all these little tiny holes, millions of them, literally. And it's pretty much red. But then your black blood, the pulmonary artery, comes back and surrounds everything with the black. And then they sort of move together. And the red pushes into the black. And then it heads out the pulmonary artery. These things are just completely saturated with those little tiny vessels which I showed you. I mean, they're just everywhere. Look at them. Look, look at the number of them. Look at this. And not, it, think of this in our size. The same thing as in us. There's so many layers of tissue that nobody's ever known about. They have no idea. I mean, it's doctors, nobody. I'm literally the only one on the planet that understands <laughs> biology now. It's so complicated. It's way beyond anything they've ever d talked about. And it's all driven by bacterial enzymes. A hundred percent. As a matter of fact, somebody sent me something today. It says, you are as old as your enzymes. And that's true. And that means you're as old as the bacteria that's in your body. Because the bacteria is what's creating the enzymes. This is um, the, the, the human body and anatomy in general is just so far beyond the comprehension of anybody. Until you understand mud fossils, you have no clue whatsoever what you're looking at when you're looking at the ground, the rocks, the sky, everything. Planets, doesn't matter. You see this? This is a transpiration of the black and the red and the yellow and the moving through your body. And you're pumping like six gallons of blood a minute through your lungs. Here's a mud fossil lung, and you see the black, and you see the red, and of course you don't see the, 
what you see in the other one, but you see all these little, there's a, there was, these are big, 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 big compared to what's in the lung. The lung has, when I look at this here, I see it almost looks like a solid. It's not solid. You look at it in a microscope, it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of tiny, tiny, tiny little perforations and hole so that you can respirate. These are the big ones that pull in all the air. And then a little, it's, it's uh, beyond human comprehension. And here's a gigantic one. This is a, a lung. Where I'm not sure, but this is the tubing that's in the lung. It's just it's, that's it, and then it goes down inside, and there's a million, billion, trillion, probably tiny little holes. Here's one. It's I believe that's a lung. That's all the tubing, but everything else is washed away. It depends on how it was entombed. The one that we were looking at here, this one here, that's getting washed out by the ocean. Right? And the reason these are all filled up with black like that, I believe, is because it's 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 sort of solidified. Normally, it would be pumping through there real quick, zoom, 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 and it'd be picking up all the oxygen, and the vein blood would be grabbing that and mixing, and the yellow would be coming in here, and all kinds of things going on at the same time. This is a lung. All that stuff, it looks like tree roots, it's not. It's the, it's the plumbing inside of a lung. All right, so I hope I've made that fairly clear. And the, the size of these creatures is, is, is staggering. Where she was, I do not know. Well, yes, I do. Presque Isle Park, she said, in the UP, Upper Peninsula. I don't know what that means. I'm not really sure. Presque Isle Park. But I have hundreds, literally, of, of lungs. And um, they preserve in a whole number of ways. Certainly don't have anything like this. Yeah. There's so much going on in here. All this is transpiration between the different colors of blood to keep your body working. You use up your blood, it comes back black. It saturates it with oxygen and so forth, and then it feeds it through your liver and all the so forth, kidneys and everything. Everything gets pulled out and pushed in, and you end up having nice, clean, red, oxygenated blood. That's your arteries. And then they come back through the veins. The veins, and they, everything works through the heart. You got red and black, red and black, red and black, dum -dum 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 -dum. and it just keeps going. It's heart lung is what we're looking at here. Heart lung. Of course, this is just lung. All right, this is on TikTok. I never go on TikTok. I have people up here that are putting my stuff up on TikTok. And um, Dragon Earther is one of them. And he's been, he's getting a lot of hits. I just never go here. But somebody sent me to come up here to look at this particular rock formation, the one I just showed you. And it's a lung. And this is from Christy Joe 33. And um, I clicked on the thing to do following. I left my message. I run Mud Fossil University on YouTube. It's a lung from a giant creature. And on my YouTube channel, I will explain in a video, this is that video. So thank you, Christy Joe. And uh, this is Dragon Earther right over here. So I guess those are the two I'm following. I don't know anything about this. I gotta be honest with you, this stuff confuses the heck out of me. And I had to create something to get into this. My wife takes care of all that. <laughs> I do the research, that's what, I'm, I'm not, a, I don't, I'm not smart. I can just see things, I see things. I'm, I don't have all this, I can't deal with all this new stuff. It's too, way too much for me. It really is, it's very, very frustrating. Because every time I come, go into something now, they're asking for some password, some PIN number, something they're going to send to my mobile device, which I never use. I use a computer. That's a, that's so it's, I'm becoming very frustrated. I've got to be perfectly honest with you. I, I, I,